They are serious allegations from one of the most senior politicians in Scotland. This is Hamza Youssef, the health secretary, with his two-year-old daughter, Amal. He and his wife, Nadia, allege a nursery discriminated against this little girl and rejected applicants on the basis of their Muslim names. Well, it was more my wife, Nadia, actually. Uh, when she told me that she'd applied to the nursery and that it had been rejected and the curt response that she'd received from the nursery, she said to me, I just feel like there's something not right. And that's why she asked her friend, who has a white Scottish sounding name, her friend Julie, to make an application. And of course, within less than 24 hours of uh, our rejection, her friend's application for a child of the same age got accepted. And that's when I first thought, OK, there is maybe something to this. The family say they and their friends contacted the nursery about availability a number of times, and they allege they received contrasting responses, depending on whether they use what they describe as Muslim names, like Nadia's own name, Nadia El Nakla, or white-sounding names, like an inquiry Nadia submitted under a false name, Susie Shepherd. In all, along with the Daily Record newspaper, they made six inquiries to the Little Scholars Nursery in Broughton Ferry. Mr Youssef alleges when the parents were called Julie Kelly, Susie Shepherd and Susan Blake, they got treated differently to Nadia El Nakla, Sarah Ahmed and Aksa Akhtar. For the three Muslim applicants, they were not offered a space, they were not offered a registration form, they were not offered uh, a nursery tour, whereas the opposite happened in the white Scottish names. And sometimes within less than 24 hours, they were either offered a place, multiple places, a nursery tour, or at the very least, a registration form uh, for a future place as well. And that disparity is all that I've wanted an explanation. And uh, that explanation has simply not been forthcoming. So what is it that you're alleging? Very simply, that there is discrimination going on. Now, Little Scholar's Nursery says it's extremely proud of being open and inclusive to all, and any claim to the contrary is demonstrably false and an accusation they would refute in the strongest possible terms. It says in addition to its owners being of Asian heritage, for more than a decade they've welcomed children and staff from a range of different religious, cultural, ethnic and racial backgrounds, including two Muslim families recently. They're suggesting that what you're alleging is false. Give us your explanation. That's all we've asked. When the responses started to come in, what was the overwhelming emotion that you and your wife felt? I think we were, first and foremost, beyond apoplectic. You know, we were raging frankly, um, just in disbelief that this could have happened. In one respect, I'm, I'm gutted. I'm gutted that I feel like I failed my daughter. She's only age two and she's going to face discrimination her whole life, but I've not been able to protect her from this discrimination in the first two years of her life, and I feel gutted about that. Yeah, so... The nursery says it has nothing to hide. Scotland's first Muslim cabinet minister believes there are wider concerns. And I'm afraid we've just not made the progress against discrimination that I would like to have thought we, 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 we have. Did you think twice about doing this? Of course. I think people get accused of playing the race card all the time. Um, but again, you know, we shouldn't let what people think deter us from what our experiences are. But I think it's the right thing to do because, as I say, we do not know how many other families have been affected by taking the action I've taken. I hope others will speak out too. This family is calling on the regulator to investigate, which the nursery say they welcome. But Hamza Youssef is asking challenging questions of the country he helps to govern and says he won't be fobbed off.